Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The twentieth pearl, which the author mentions to show the beauty of Islam, is if one ponders upon the general overview of Islam's vast conquests and how it remained respected even though the enemies of Islam try to destroy it and tarnish its name, then they would know that Islam is a true religion sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever ponders upon the origin of this religion and how the Arabs were split into the different tribes and then how Islam came and brought the hearts together and unified them and made them brothers in religion, in faith, they would know that Islam is a true religion. And then how Islam was able to spread throughout the earth and how it conquered the superpowers of the time, Persia and Rome. They were the greatest of nations and they had and possessed the greatest of kingdoms and they were the most strongest at the time and they had the most numbers. But with the small numbers, Islam was able to prevail due to the virtue of their religion and the strength of their faith and the help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until Islam was able to reach the east and the west. And this is from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the proofs of his, his religion and the miracles of his prophet. And due to this, people were able to enter into Islam in groups upon insight and with contentment. Whoever ponders upon this matter knows that Islam is a true religion and that the truth will always prevail no matter how great the falsehood becomes. And this is understood by those of sound intellect, unlike those who are enemies of Islam and try to attack Islam with any possibility that they are able to attain. And they claim that Islam only spread due to materialistic matters. But if one ponders truly over this matter, they will know that the reality is otherwise. How is it that small groups of Arabs who did not live under a great nation, they, was, they lived in small governing tribes, let alone a big nation, let alone a nation like the superpowers of the time, Persia and Rome. So is it possible that these small Arabs who had hatred amongst themselves and were not able to live in a civil manner were able just due to materialistic matters to defeat Persia and Rome? Furthermore, then Islam, it survived, this religion survived even though the enemies were attacking it from all angles and the succession of calamities if one ponders over all of these they will know that this claim is only an attack on islam and that the true religion is islam the religion that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent and that people were able to enter into islam with contentment without any compulsion because this is a true religion, this is a religion of the natural instinct, this is a religion of rectification. But due to the weakness of their people now, of Islam's people now, and how the enemies are attacking Islam, then it is not flourishing as it used to. And there is no strength, no power except in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.